Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. This is the full video. Anubis over Earth and more. Now, this is from satellite imagery. I put this on community posts. This is the eye of the storm. But when you look close inside of here, people, you can see this is some type of reptilian looking creature. And when I zoom in close, you'll see bumps and ridges on the head, nose, mouth, tongue sticking out, and then the eye. Let me hold that in tight. This was a couple days ago over the Gulf of Mexico, showing you the, the t terrible weather that's coming in. Now, this is the full radar shot. And you could just see. Of course, with the lowest color, red. And then the creature being purple for its highest color. And then the rest of the shocker colors, greens, oranges, yellows. You see them. But the giant serpent with the tongue sticking out. Yeah. Can't make this stuff up, folks. Let's go back to the original picture of the dog-like creature captured from satellite imagery. Satellites that are in high Earth orbit. <clears throat> Eye, nose, mouth, teeth. Let's go to the crown that's on the top. It's a a bird, a giant bird with outstretched wings that encompass the head that make up the crown of the dog-like entity. Now I'm going to zoom in on the crown and show you. It's a bird with wings open. Here's the bird's face, beak, eyes. Here's the outstretched wings on either side and it looks like it has some type of crazy chest plate on covering the breast of the body I'll zoom in close you see the head of the bird the beak the eye the eye the armor that it has on the breastplate or the chest of the bird I'm going to zoom out for perspective. And then we were right here. I'll stretch wings, the head, the chest, on top of the giant dog entity's head. And like in the teaser, another creepy looking face over here looks like some type of devilish looking face with a crazy smirk and everything. You see the horns on his head and his ears. I'm going to zoom in close to see if that'll come in. Right there, folks. Half a face, the eye, the horn, the ear. <clears throat> see it? And then when we go up here, more giant faces. This looks like the Iron Man face. You see the massive head, eyes, and then the mouth. <clears throat> this is a giant being, folks. See him looking down? Excuse the noise, windows are open. Let's zoom in tight. Let's not be distracted for one second. Peace, love, and light to all my new subs. I appreciate you. I love you. Like, share, and subscribe. Zoom out. And you see him very clear right there. Giant entity. You see his body coming into play and everything. And then here, more strange faces. See him in the backdrop? Eye, eye, nose, mouth. <clears throat> Very clear to see. You live in a supernatural world, folks. I understand that. Couldn't be any more supernatural. Pull this up a little bit. There we go. Peace, love, and light. One love. 
Let's keep this thing moving. I want to show y'all a video right fast, but before I do, I'm going to show you the screenshots. Okay? <clears throat> this is from a Stars TV commercial. Stars being the the cable network, like you have Stars, HBO, Showtime. So this is a commercial that runs on Stars before certain shows comes on. It's like a little commercial for their channel. And it shows a lot of their original series. But I actually caught entities flying across through their video. You see the head of the angelic being right here, his arms, his wings are out, <clears throat> and then the body. Let's zoom in on the face. See the head, the nose, the eye, something on top of his head. I'm hold that in tight. Pull down some light. That's the face right there, folks. Now we're going to bring this back to regular perspective. Zoom out. We were just here, and you still can see the eye. The arms outstretched, the body, and then the wings. And behind it, a, a strange craft, folks, flying right behind it. I'm going to show you the video, and I know you see the things that are in the woods in the backdrop. Strange face. I can't make it up, folks. I'm watching a TV show, and, and stars show their little commercial, and I'm going to play it, and it showed stuff like this. And this flew past, and I said, oh, let me rewind that. And then here we have this shape object, angelic being. This UFO is chasing this entity right here, folks. Seeing is believing. I'll zoom in just on the craft that's behind it. You see it? This shape, slash in the middle, round underbelly. And then the strange looking beings in the backdrop. Moving on. More of the same. This is when they burst out move fast this is a shape shift to show you that these things change shape and move in directions that defy uh, fake gravity um, physics everything look at this craziness folks I know uh, this is when they first flew out they're right here kind of hard to see on, on on that actual picture but then they morphed into this see the craft the angelic being this thing is chasing the angel see the top round part the bottom round part and then a disc in the middle Okay. Highlighted and circled for people that is visually impaired. Look at that. <clears throat> and a lot of times folks when when I post on community posts, you can actually zoom in. And, and and screenshot and take a look at these some of these things for yourself, folks. Okay, now let me find the video. Here we are. Now I'm going to press play and just let it let it rock. You see him? See him fly past? Look at that, folks. It's coming in right there. Let's see if I can catch it. Let's bring it back.
That's some of the screenshots I showed you right there. Bring it back again. See if we can catch it in real time. One of the objects right there. That's the angel. You see the ship. They're manifesting. Wow. <clears throat> so fast. We're going to get it. There it is, folks. Screenshot it perfectly for you. From the Stars commercial. Zoom in on them. Exactly the screenshots I just showed you. The disc and then the angelic being. I can't zoom in on, on this recording, but I can try to put my camera closer. Let's see. Without it being blurred too bad. But that's it right there, folks. You see the angel and then you see the craft. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. And let's see. Let's just watch it again. Look at that. I'm telling you folks, there's something in everything. Look at that. Hold on, I'm going to bring that back one more time. One more time. Look at that, folks. telling you everywhere folks and if you have stars you can watch this commercial and you can see it for yourself it doesn't change peace love and light <clears throat> i just wanted to bring that to you to show you okay i showed you the screenshots okay and let's go to the horse the horseman, folks. A friend of mine, Malik, sent me this picture. Now, I'm going to try to pull down the brightness so you can see the entity's face. You see him right there, folks? You see him riding on the back of this horse that's like standing up, front legs poking out. You see the tail, the bottom legs. Uh, I mean, this is crazy. Look at the face on this guy. Look at the face on this guy right here, folks. See his eyes, his nose, his mouth is twisted up. He has a headdress on. All these entities I see are always wearing some type of crown or headdress. But, I mean, folks, who, who can debate that? I mean, like, you're staring into the face of a supernatural being. And he's riding on a horse. See his face again? Eye, eye, nose, mouth. I'll zoom in extra for you folks. And just hold that there. Pull down some of the brightness so you can see. Look at that. You can see every wrinkle and bend and fold in this face. You see the eyes are slanted up. You see the nose. You see the frown in the mouth. I mean, almost looks like a lion face, like whew, unbelievable. Zoom out. And then we pull down the light again. And you see it comes through ever so clear. I mean, look at look at the horse head. It's crazy, folks. This is the full shot. This being on the horse is in an interaction or battle with this darkness right here. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in on the, the, the horse and the rider once again. You know, it's very bright. So on the video, I have to pull down the light so it can actually resonate through. You see the face of the entity. 
I mean, full garment on. You see detail in the clothing and everything riding on the back of this, this horse-like creature. Okay. Now, I pulled down the light because it's very bright when we go to the rider and the horse. But then I'm going to pull the light back to normal and show you this dragon-like beast that this entity is fighting. Here it is right here. You see the outline of his wings. Here's his head. Here's his wings going out this way. Just like I showed off the sun, the dragons have spikes on their wings. Here's his other wing. And I'll zoom in on it to show you. That's the head of one of the creatures that's in the battle or interaction. Here's his eye. Now zoom out. Show you the scales and spikes that are on the back of the wings. Literal points. Mm-hmm. And then you see the massive face that's on the back of the creature. Because this whole mass of darkness is in a, a battle with this entity on the horse. It starts all the way up here. This is a being right here with his arms coming down, his body going this way and his head. And then you see the massive face right here. I'll zoom in on the face right here. You see the eye, eye, nose, and mouth. Giant beings, folks. Titans. Shout out Chris Archer because he's telling you that it's tracks in the sky that a lot of these systems ride on, folks. Yes. Some are hanging and some actually are attached to it and can never get off. And they're riding on these track systems or rails. I know it's hard to explain, but people in the sky community are, are doing their best. And I, I send you all love for, for putting in the work. This is the being that's at the top that's completely blacked out. His arms are coming down, but his face is right here. I'll zoom in. And you can see the top part of it, it has hair or fur, and his eye is right here. But it's very, very, very dark. It's craziness, folks. Giant angelic being blowing a horn. And again, with the naked eye, showing somebody this picture is easily visible. But when I record it it's super super bright so i have to pull down the light just so it can resonate through and you can see the fish like tail in the back the wings coming up the head the other small beings and entities that are around it and the horn that it's holding in its hands i'm gonna zoom in on the face right here so you can see the face of the angelic being you see his black eye and everything See his hair coming back into a point, and then the wings coming completely straight up. And then the smaller ones that are accompanying it. I'm holding down the light so it can stay visible, folks. And you can see it's attached right here, but right not right now, it's holding it in its hand. The giant horn. You can see the, the knuckles and fingers bent. And a massive face right here where this thing puts this thing up to his mouth and blows matter out of it. Shout out Chris Archer again. The matter horn. I mean, you can see detail and design on it like polka dots. Detail and structure in the wings, folks. Look at that. With a face on the edge of the wing. You got to be kidding me. That's right out of the Bible. Look at that. Eye, nose, mouth. Undeniable. Seeing is believing. Folks could doubt me if you want. But <laughs> it won't help you. Trust me. I'm here for a divine purpose. I know why I'm here. Peace, love, and light. That's what it is. In this hellish world, multiple entities sent in by subscribers and any of my subscribers, if you see your picture up here, just put it in the comments and all shouts will go to you. 
demonic looking creatures, eyes, horns, mouth, nose, type of stuff you see in the movies. Like the one-off pitch black. Creatures, folks. Faces everywhere. Nostrils. Eyes. Eye cavities. I mean, come on. It, it's, it's, this stuff is like this way, way too real. People don't get it. And I know. Somet sometimes people don't want to get it because it's it's fear-based. You know, you, you become scared. But then, you know, you, you can't be scared of these things. Like, the world is at a time where you, your your vibration should be elevated for all things. All righteous things. Anything good. Anything of knowledge and understanding. Knowledge is power. Me showing you this will definitely increase your DNA. Jog your memory. It'll just make you a better you. You become more aware. There's nothing wrong with being aware. Awareness is all things. Now, I know this picture came from Planet X Hunter. I mean, look at the massive craft, folks, just parked in the middle of the sky. And then when we zoom in, you can see the occupants that are sitting in it. I'll zoom in tighter. Look at this. Look how it's cradling them. Like, I mean, this is the cockpit and it's like wide open. You see the entity sitting. Anatomical features, heads, shoulders, arms, and the massive craft. Look at that, folks. I mean, wow. If someone thinks that's just a cloud making that type of uh, uh, geometric shape, you really need to snap out of it. And always with some massive face on etched on the side of the craft. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. Ancient vessels, folks. They showed it to you in the Chronicles of Riddick. The massive uh, uh, UFOs or craft that are in the atmosphere with faces attached to them. Planet X Hunter again. Massive face. Like Chris Archer and China Miss Jones talks about. Creatures, titans, giants that are in high places. I mean, look at the horn poking out of this, this entity's head. You see his eyes, his nose, his mouth. And then you see the monstrous one that's right next to him. Spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's, that's what I'm here to show you, folks. You're not here to become something that's man-made. You're here to choose a path, left or right. Either you're going to play with the devil or you're going to do righteous things and be godly and godlike and understand it's a creator of all things. Nothing just comes from nothing. Understand that this place was created for you to take a road left or right. And left is not good. The only way is the right way. You understand that. That's why you have rights. They're not called wrongs. They're called rights for a reason. You know, because you have to stand on what's right. And none of us are perfect, you know, but you can strive for perfection and help your fellow man, woman and child, you know, and not be evil and mean and fall prey to a man-made system of economics and social engineering. It's very simple. You didn't come here to be a carpenter, to be a barber, to be a police officer. You came here to realize what this place is, not fall in love with it and ascend to higher levels of existence and life. Yeah, life after death. It's a big thing down here, isn't it? There's so many shows on it. I mean, you see the massive craft I'm showing you that's not conducive to anything that's supposed to be natural in the sky with all types of geometric shapes, pyramids, appendages sticking out. I mean, this thing literally has a claw coming out of it where it's interacting with this massive ship over here. I mean, come on. What cloud do you know has an appendage that comes out that has... Two other appendages that look like forks that are sticking into something. I mean, come on. If I really, really zoom in close, I'll show you one of the entities or individuals that are sitting right here. Look at that. You see his nose. You see his eye, his eye, his ears out here. He has black hair and he's wearing a black garment. Seeing is believing. If you don't believe your eyes, you're a damn fool. Your eyes are connected to the optical nerve for a reason. You know? But they'll tell you, oh, your eyes are tricking you. That's you fall, falling prick, uh, victim to another spell. That's all it is. Look, you can see the steps where this thing is all connected. 
You know, it's a system up there, folks, a track system. It's supposed to rain in my neck of the woods tomorrow. So guess what was out all day in the evening? Chemtrail bots, drones or planes flying around, lacing the sky for the weather tomorrow. It's not natural, folks. It's all contrived. It's all artificial. Understand that. Let's see what else we got here. Screenshots of, of, of some of my UFO videos. And like these are entities that are inside of, of these plasma craft, these shape shifting uh, uh, um, organic vessels, folks. I, I mean, look at that. You, you, you see the face looking right at you. You see the, the detail, the, the geometry. I mean, I mean, come on. Another one. This is a screenshot of a craft, folks. I just want to darken it up to show you the geometric shape that it's making. It has a point here, a point here, and it's like a perfect either rectangle or square. And when I lighten it up, you see that the inside is completely black, folks. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm showing you stuff like no other. Show this in a teaser. I mean, then we talked about... And in, in, in the previous one I just showed from Planet X Hunter, this claw-like thing that comes out and has like a fork on the end. I, I mean, you 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 clearly can see it. There it is, sticking out of the craft. These things blend to, blend into the sky. Smoke or haze comes out of them that you've been taught are clouds, and and you don't see them. So it's up to people like me to to bring you and make you aware. That's all it is. It's very, very simple, folks. It's not hard at all. It's not hard at all. You know, it's very elementary. And I want to show you all this picture right here. This, this picture right here is crazy. Check this out. Look at the massive face that's at the bottom of this thing. And then we have a dragon entity right here. I'm going to go into detail and, fur and, and further... Uh, um, pictures as we advance on here we are with the crazy evil face you see the nose the nostrils the eyes the pointed ears coming out i mean just just let's take a look at that shout out my subscribers man because i love y'all y'all send in some of the craziest stuff and your vision is becoming very clear your third eye is becoming very clear because you're starting to see and that's all i'm here to do your mind is like an umbrella you if you don't open it up, it won't work. You know, who has an umbrella in a rainstorm and won't use it? You know, just in a practical application of umbrellas, open it up. Use it, folks. You know, and I have one of the dragon right here. Look at this. Look at this. Here's his head. The red outline, the wing. Tail section. And then there's an entity that's like trailing right behind it. it. Looks like a smaller dragon. Like, let me pull down the light to show you that. Uh, you know, I'm not tripping, folks. I'm not making it up. I I'm, I'm giving it to you raw and uncut, like nobody else. You see this little guy right here. You see his eye. You see his wings. And look at the scales that's on the back of his tail. It's following the bigger one. It's the best I could do with. The visual on that but let me let me zoom out to show you the, the, the entire thing and it's it's massive folks his wings are right here his tail is shoes back a baby one right here and this is the head unbelievable craziness folks Yeah, like I said, peace, love, and light. I, I love my subs. They send in tons of emails. I look at your emails. I see them. Trust me, we're gonna we're gonna definitely get to them. You can trust and believe that. You know, nothing gets um, just left behind. I look at all things, folks. And sometimes when I can't see things, I just won't use it because when I when when you send in pictures it has to be concrete there could be no speculation no doubt the same way I'm showing you this face on this entity riding this horse 
that I showed previous and we're going to end just on the face of the being for people to have doubt in their minds that think you're the only thing that exists. You're a fool. There's things big time outside of you. You live in a supernatural world, folks. Wake up to it and become better. Peace.